And welcome back to Majora's Mask. On the last episode, we ended up, well, completing a lot more of this dungeon. In this episode, we will attempt to finish it. So, first, going off the northwest side of the central platform, we see that Tattle seems to be going a little nuts there. If we use there, we see that there is a hidden platform there. How do we get to it, though? We have to do that lovely running jump thing that we all know and love. So like that, hopefully I'll make it. Yes! And with that, this is actually the toughest fairy to find in here. Or, not really to find, but to figure out exactly how to get to. But, you know what the good part about this is? We got all the fairies. So there's that. Yeah. Um, alright. So then we're just going to switch to a flower. And kind of go ahead and use our lovely little flower power flower power why did i use that to get back over here and start climbing up we use flower power Woo! i still don't know why i said that and as the earth shakes this terminus shakes we're just gonna go ahead and break through all of these rocks anyway just remember how i said about the whole uh hammer thing with goron wall Wall! It's so powerful, you leave invisible barriers and leave dots in them! Or giant holes. I don't know why I said knots, but that's okay. Anyway, so now you notice we're at the top here, and from the looks of it over there, we've reached the boss floor! Yay! Time to finish this. I don't have a key though. Why does it say I have a. Yeah, we don't have the boss key yet. So that, that could be a problem, but as you see, it looks like there's a chest in the northeast section there, which it looks like it's behind a locked door. So, behind a locked door can only mean one thing, right? We might have to fight something to get to it. And with that, like I said, we have the return of Wizor, Rizrobe. I like that they kind of turned Rizrobe into a Hyrule Warriors character. Either way, this is the other way you can defeat this guy. You just go right up to him and punch him. Literally, uh, you won't waste arrows, you won't waste anything. All you do is... No, it's honestly a little bit faster since you kind of do the whole double damage thing. I was going to say, why did you want to appear right in front of me? Fire arrows also will do really well, which is what they want you to use here, but I'm trying... Well, I said I was going to try to save him, then I realized he was up there. Since that's really the- Oh, you froze me! So that's really the only spot I can't get to as a young Link. Oh, God, hit him. Might be easier just to let him kind of do his thing. Of course, he's being- He was very kind to me. Normally when I did this in the past, it was like, Huh, too slow, huh, too slow, you can't win, you can't win, nah, 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 nah. So I'm like, screw you! By the way, we got our chest. So, as we open one chest to another chest. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, you got the boss key. And with that, all we gotta do is return. Come on, open the door for me, please. And as you see, it's just up there, but it's kind of simple to get there at this point. All we gotta do is roll down a little bit. Ow, that actually hurt. It wasn't supposed to hurt. Maybe it was supposed to hurt. But either way, this is a very good way to continue to uh, restock on your items, in case you didn't notice that. And just like that, we are back up here. Oh, see, it wasn't that simple to do. Didn't really need, even need to cut anything since it was like a two-second thing. Alright, let's see what lies beyond this door. boss is frozen. Is this the boss? Does Tattle say anything about it? I guess not. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do, right? Unfreeze it! Because it's Freezer! What? Freeze it. No, it is wrong universe. Anyway, how did I end up in the center of him? Well, we have the mass mechanical monster, Goat. Goat. Ow. Why did you run me over? Either way, um, so, this was the, uh, bot- I forgot I have to hold the button down now. <laughs> I'm so used to not having to hold the button down now that I have to hold it. So, this is the boss of Snowhead Temple. Uh, uh, this is the boss that Dormani was trying to get to before he ended up dying. So that didn't quite work out. So, 
that was kind of our hint there. Throw your whole body into it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. It'll take a couple of hits and we'll be down from there. But if we jump off of the platform, other than him hitting us, we see that it actually ended up uh, making him... Wow, his recovery time is quick. We see that that automatically made him... Uh, just go ahead and fall right down immediately. So going off ramps is the perfect thing for you. I apparently keep less love getting hit by this boss. Gosh, I don't know if the bosses are harder in the remake or this. I mean, honestly, I felt this one was a lot easier in the remake. But that's just kind of because I show you where all the weaknesses are. But either way, if you still hit him up there, he'll jump down. And then we can rape him in the ass with our Goron form! And sometimes doing it that way is actually easier. When we start seeing electricity and stuff coming off of him, that means he is... Why did I do a little bit of a twerk button thing there? Why did I just say twerk? What is wrong with me? Um, but as you see, you kind of just keep running into him and having that happen. Um, if you're actually playing the remake, since I might as well say this now, um, you can still knock him down at the same time, but he only has, like, one weak spot. You can't hit him anywhere in his body like you've seen me doing. It's all just, uh, oh man, it's almost night already. Uh, you'll, you'll have to actually use arrows or your sword or whatever the weak spot happens to be, which is another giant Goma eye, ironically. But, either way, you see now that once he's almost dead, he starts dropping bombs, which would be really annoying. And I'm probably gonna get hit a couple of times. Come on, get the spikes going. Get the spikes going, thank you. Just need to catch up to him. We can do it. Come on, let's see if we can beat him before the night of the day happens. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Yes, we got him! Yeah! Woo! And my phone is ringing. Yay! But we got him, so that's a thing. Ba, ba, ba. My phone rings at the most inconvenient time. Either way, we beat Goat. We beat the evil Goat. I don't know why I said Goat. You know, like a bad Goat. And we got a heart container. So, only one thing left to do. Let's grab the Goat's remains! Which, just for the instant spirit of the Dark Mask, kept a prison in the body of the evil Goat. We defeated the evil Goat. Actually, he does kind of look like... Bad. He was bad. Unthaw him already? Maybe he's just too cold. Huh? Not anymore! <laughs> Brother, look! This is what I think you're saying. With that, I think spring has returned to Snowhead Mountain. That's what they call Snowhead Mountain, that's spring. We land right in front of a frog, apparently. So, we got this Don Jero's mask a while ago, as you remember. So, if we actually end up wearing it, just wear it, and then the frog starts talking to you. I have been waiting for you. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. I 
As you can see, Donjiro, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus! <gasps> Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was too long? They must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. The great Don Jero has come for us too. What a pity. Where in the world could the other members be? And what could they be doing? Alright, so we do know that there are a few members. Uh, we've seen some of the frogs in, like, the temple over in Clock Town, and I believe there's one more in the southern swamp that we might not have seen. But, uh, we don't know where all of them are yet, so we're going to skip out on this little side quest for now. But what we are going to do is make sure we have actually all the right items out. And, as remembered... Oops. There we go. <laughs> feels weird playing them on here, but as you remember, we ended up getting all the uh, fa stray fairies at... Why was that? Why is that being buggy? Thank you. In Snowhead. So we're gonna warp back there. And go visit the great fairy. Well, the first looks like our buddy is back. Damani? What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Coming. What am I doing sitting at a place like this? I do not know, Giant Goron. Uh, yeah, that was Giant Goron he put to sleep, and now he's awake, clearly. I don't want to fall off, because I'm just being very good. Especially, okay, come on, can we get there before the night? Can we get there before night happens? Can we get it before night falls? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh my god, we might be able to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! I got it right before it fell! Oh man. But as you saw, the entrance to the Great Fairy Fountain was on the bottom of the Snowhead Temple. All I had to do was go to the right instead of the left to get the Horish Fairy again. I don't know why I keep calling her the Horish Fairy. <sighs> oh, wise young one, I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. <laughs> oh, I feel so manly now! Chest bump! Your magic power has been enhanced. You now have twice as much magic power. Come see me when Sweet. So, I am 12 hours behind, but we'll see if I can catch up. So, it looks like that is about it for this episode. We ended up completing the second boss fight, and so, half the dungeons are done in here, which sounds kind of weird, well, at least the main dungeons, but, so, on the next episode, we will start side-questing it up, so... I am going to... Flying out.